typical day for Matt is he'll start saying, I want to get up, time to get up. So we get him. We use the lift that's in the ceiling to get him out of his bed. So we raise the back of the bed up and we can get him onto the lift easier. First step is to go into the bathroom. We wash him in the bathroom if he's not taking a shower that day. Get him partially dressed. It's a lot easier to put his pants and shoes and socks on while he's on the toilet. The next step is to go into the wheelchair. That's when we'll get his top on, deodorant, finish bathing him there. Then from there, it's off to the kitchen for breakfast. Pills. It's a complicated process because we have to take his blood, give him his pills with yogurt. He has a compromised swallow. He's had three swallow studies. The recommendation was to use Thicket for all of his drinks and all of his food. So he does take his pills with yogurt. And that's a little difficult because some of the capsules and the vitamins are large. They're not easy to take with the yogurt. And he has his breakfast. He can eat most of his meals by himself. He loves to watch sports, golf, uh, college basketball, hockey, baseball, depending on the season. He keeps in touch with his friends. He has a lot of good supportive friends. He's very interested in music. After college, he did DJing a lot on his own, which was great. Matt would love to participate in, in trials, but he has his ICD and he has the diabetes. And with that, it would not give them a true reading on what they need to find when they do a trial. And his age has a lot to do with some of the trials that he can't participate in. With our race, he feels like he's contributing with raising money to help other people get into the trials and hopefully someday find a cure. I do a thing to, uh, to make sure they, that the younger kids that have a baby don't have to go, go through what I did in him and so. What about when you get older? Oh, um, well, I'm going to have my own castle. I'm going to be rich. Seven years have passed since the filming of the Ataxian, and Dylan is now not able to get out of his chair and walk anymore. He has had scoliosis surgery, and he also has developed diabetes. He wears an insulin pump, and just recently, automatic blood glucose monitor. He's more dependent on us and for pretty much everything. He has trouble eating independently now. His dexterity makes that pretty hard for him, but he still has his personality and his huge heart. That hasn't changed. <laughs> Sienna is 10 years old now. She'll be 11 next month. And she really shows no, no symptoms at all in that age. She's extremely active. She loves softball. She ice skates. She rides a bike. She does pretty much anything she can to be moving all of the time. And uh, we encourage that because the more, more she can do now, the longer she's going to be able to do it. My first memory was when Dylan could still walk, we'd always hang out. And then when he got into a wheelchair, he just was really mad. Sometimes 
I'll think like, what's going to happen when I'm in a wheelchair? I'm going to have to put all my hobbies. I'm going to have to put all my sports. That worries me. If you can get a treatment in place that stops or slows the progression of FA and just let, let them be where they're at and let science catch up in other areas to start helping undo the damage and repair the damage, then I would be happy with that. I want your kid to be happy, thankful for when the day is a good day and hopeful that tomorrow will be better. <laughs>